and welcome to Sentinel One presents Cyber Superheroes Unveiling the Unsung Heroes of Security in association with ETC So. I'm Rhythma Bhatnagar. Now today most of our lives unfortunately or fortunately is on the digital realm and maybe we are not very sure of how secure we are while we are putting out our data in this digital realm. So today security is not just restricted to the physical world but also the digital realm. Like we have our armed forces, the guards guarding us at our national border so that we can sleep peacefully, you have the CISOs, the Chief Information Security Officers, doing exactly that in the cyber security space. And in fact, today, we have one such superhero joining us. Meet Mr. Kishan Kendra, the Global Head IS at Blue Star. Kishan, thank you so much for taking out the time and joining us. Thank you. So we're talking about cyber security, right? And this is a topic and a theme that's changing almost on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, just for a very simplistic understanding, what is the kind of threat that, uh, you know, from a sector industry perspective that India is facing today as far as cyber security is concerned? Uh, the major one which you see, it, everybody is facing the ransomware part and the fear of unknown. That's the major thing which, uh, and uh, geopolitical uh, things will come into the picture. Now, nobody is going to do a physical war. Everybody will do a digital war only. If you have seen the recent one uh, which happened in Lebanon, yeah. uh, blasting the pages or the walkie-talkies. Walkie yeah, that's, this, is, this is, will be the new uh, threat which will be then. And every day we have to uh, prevent these threats. Means we, have to, we are worried about that key. we should not miss any a single one. Mm. So this, these are the things which I believe are the major ones. So, you know, we're calling this cyber superheroes, which means, you know, CISOs like you are donning the role of superheroes. So, is there a superhero that has like inspired you or that you take inspiration from for your work, for day-to-day -day life? Yes, definitely. So, uh, means, uh, the, from where I came, from where I was there, and then uh, we feel proud by uh, saving the organization. Means, we are doing something for our organization, mm -hmm. which are protecting them from being attacked or uh, this will help us to uh, grow also. The economy will grow from India. The company will grow. And then for us also, we will also grow it into this one. Mm -hmm. So that way, and the superheroes, I see it, my parents. Okay. The, the reason why is when they, when they started and where we reached now because of them. So I feel from there, I take the inspiration to protect everyone that way I see it. That's lovely. So what are some of the powers that you take from your super parents? that you want to use in your day-to-day -day life also? Uh, dedication, uh, active listening, you can say it. Then, then uh, do a small, small things. That will help us to improve on that. Mm -hmm. See, uh, and always think of a strategic way. That is the important thing which I have uh, seen it. And then uh, keep learning, keep reading. So that will help us to improve on that. Yeah. Or that will help us to know better where you are lagging. Do a perfection into this one. So whenever uh, somebody gives a feedback, that will help us to improve and uh, what you can that uh, always strive for a perfection. Yeah. So that is the work that that keeps us motivated. And uh, the again, I'm saying that uh, keeping the uh, industry secure or providing something from our end. Yeah. So that that keeps us going uh, continuously that way. Yeah. Uh, from an industry perspective, uh, again, if you could just th help us understand how crucial is the role of a CISO on a day-to-day -day basis? How does a daily day look like for you? Uh, lots of meetings. <laughs> that's, that's one part. And then uh, uh, in the starting, I start in the morning, few reading things, what is happening in the market, what are the things happen over the night mm -hmm. once you sleep. So then uh, what are the new things happening coming into the picture? Uh, the, the, have a sharing the information with your colleagues, mm -hmm. getting the information from them. After reaching, then go through the mails, see uh, all the things which are implemented or all the things which are put in organization are perfectly working well or not. Yeah. Take the feedback, improve on that, have a meetings with the customers, mm -hmm. have a meeting with our partners, have a meeting with our own teams and continuously provide the awareness to the employees. Mm -hmm. That's the important, these are the things, that's a, that, the, this is our routine, we can say. And before going sleep, pray for the God, nothing should happen in the night. Yeah. So tomorrow uh, will be, will be, means that way, uh, what you can say that, keep, 
do the things on your uh, uh, on your own and learn learn from them that's the important thing which i see so you said when you sleep at night you pray so when you sleep at night what is the kind of thoughts in your head is there always thinking about a new threat like what is the kind of thought process so always uh, because threat actors are always two step ahead of us yeah. because they need only one chance yeah. we need to block all the it means the thing we thinking will be that ki, did i be able to do all the task which i plan to do it on that day or what how should i plan my next day and uh, threats always will be in our mind yeah. because without that it will be difficult uh, so that that will keep us motivated to protect our organization if the threats are not there then uh, cso's will not be there in that yeah. and this is this is a specialized role created in the cyber security industry so he can direct means he can give a dedicated time to protect the organization otherwise uh, a same person is doing it and then you will have a internally coordinating with the multiple teams you will have will be able to guide the people how they are doing it where they are missing it how they can do the say, uh, how they can improve it on that one and then it can become a trusted advisor i always say that it's a trusted advisor means to whom you can go for any queries related to the cyber security yeah. and then continuously that will happen into the, and uh, for our organization now regulations also come into the picture so regulation also says that you should have a dedicated person who will help you to take care of these things uh, which is happening in the industry so you said the threat actors are always awake right and they are two steps ahead of where we are what are the kind of changes that you've seen in the kind of threat activities that we've seen in the recent past uh i would like to take an example of an italy prime minister yeah. her image has been used for some malicious right. activities right. Yeah. so uh, and then the phishing campaigns mm -hmm. or the threat access you might be heard about the parcel scams mm -hmm. you will get a message or a call from i'm calling from cyber i correct and then uh, they will say that ki you have uh, unsolicited uh, mm -hmm. parcel and then you have to take care of that and yeah. otherwise if you don't take it well you have to go to the jail yeah. so people will fa fa fall prey for that so the attacks now are coming onto the jet now the jni is coming into the picture so they will leverage that more and more sophisticated ways are coming into the going future uh, your voice will be used for uh, for attacking it you will get the messages from your ceos md is saying that you have to pay that means i am stuck at some place yeah. you pay me the uh, amount and people are for calling pray for that mm -hmm. so this kind of continuously improvement and then the supply chain attacks will be there mm -hmm. then the insider threats which was there always was there yeah. that will uh, improve on that i will say that these are the threats which uh, keeps us uh, at uh, means awake always you can say it. and uh, to the we have to start thinking in a different way yeah. the the way attacker thinks we have to also start thinking on out of out of box thinking you can say it so when you say itself. out of box what are the kind of changes that you have to make from an organization perspective also to try and navigate through these new challenges uh before going to that i will answer that specifically the before that you should have the basic rights in your organization just to give an example you should have the proper antivirus proper edia solution deployed at all your import means you should cover all your egress and ingress point wherever uh, means the threats you have to think from where the threats will come yeah. and try to protect that that is the important thing which i have said and that way we will be able to outsmart the attackers which is happening it and constantly uh, what you can i am not able to remember that word always think that ki kahan se kuch aa sakta hai kya that's the means always think that way so that will keep you motivated and you'll be able to start thinking out of box thinking you said that and then uh, just do not im do not deploy the solution yeah. implement them mm -hmm. because people just deploy they do not implement that yeah. so you'll be able to uh, uh, protect the organization again i mean so but you know with the advent of new technology artificial intelligence gen ai do you see that helping uh, your way of combating cyber threats yes definitely that that will help because see uh, going through a thousand events by a manual person and helping my llms or the jni i think to automate these things yeah. that will definitely help it's early stages i can say but uh, already the reporting part has been started by the jni yeah. where uh, i the analyst used to take two days or a day to prepare a report i'm able to do it within seconds now okay. and then 
the already the machine learning is already leveraged by the solutions which are there in the market which are helping us to uh, detect early mm -hmm. and then uh, now uh, uh, as you mentioned about the out of box thinking so this gen ai also will learn and then that will help us to what are the ways the attackers can use it and that will be able to protect it right so you know you can't do it all alone right this is something that we've realized that you need support system you need solutions for these challenges and that's where something like or someone like sentinel one comes in right they provide these solutions so what made you decide on this partnership with sentinel one uh I means uh, definitely that's a requirement uh, and specifically we wanted to have the endpoint detection and response solution uh, for uh, to protecting early detection as well as uh, the prevention part also and if anything happens and then i will be able to uh, how quickly i can act on that that's one that means i if i can give a example people will give the iocs but to finding it on a, with a traditional antivirus solution it used to take ages but with respect to the sentinel will help us to protect uh, from that iocs from the unknowns or the behavioral analytics which you can say so these are the things which were there in the market and the early detections that's me that's one of the part and then uh, how will be able to run it without uh, without updating the antivirus signatures also that's one of the part so these are the things which you have seen it and that help us and uh, sentinel one has helped us to, uh, for continuously doing that our journey in, in last one year so any superhero part from sentinel one that you use for your day to day operations uh, that means uh, the monitoring of my endpoints that's one part because uh, and uh, sentinel one protects me for any uh, attacks happening on the endpoint servers that will help us to be means continuously uh, uh, i see that the report which i get it from the management console and how they protect it that help us actually and then uh, that gives us a night good a good night sleep you can say it yeah i want to ask a you know move away from work and ask a few personal questions uh, so i want to understand uh, you know how do you manage your work life balance with a you know job and a uh, organizational challenges that are changing almost every day how do you maintain that work life balance so uh, for a work life balance means uh, i i try to spend time with family I always give in the evening uh, give one or two hours with the kids mm -hmm. family how sit with her just mm -hmm. just chat chit chat what she has done on the day uh, how the kids has done in the school mm -hmm. so this this help us and then the work life to you have to continuously learn yeah. continuously read to get the new things happening in the market and try to implement that at home also yeah. you have to give the time to them so sometimes we take a time out go somewhere else yeah. and then spend the time with the family so that will help that will keep us at bay and then i normally say that stop giving the excuses you will you will be able to find the time you will be able to yeah. uh, get that one and be healthy that's the important thing which i see it yeah. so that way we balance between the work life always 24 by 7 there will not be work exigency sometimes then you can you can if you are able to start uh, i say let go let go the things so you'll be able to achieve many things nice i also want to understand uh, you know you're saying this today but a younger kishan would he be saying the same things what would your advice be to a younger self i always say that okay, let let it go okay. people will keep it to himself i i i learn over the period okay. that's why i'm saying that because previously when when i started i was very passionate about things and now also i'm passionate about sure. but things i used to keep it to myself sure. i used i never used to share the information with now i share it <laughs> once you share it you will learn more yeah. and the idea which i get it from my the team i always say that you give it to them mm -hmm. so over the period i learn these things i always say that learning will be the important thing for a, a, a the journey which i had done it in last 20 years you can say it mm -hmm. is it lastly before we let you go i have to ask you this some piece of you know wisdom or advice to younger cisos never go for a fame do your basics learn learn few things and be a trusted advisor i always say that people people should uh, come to you to get advice mm -hmm. or they should come to you uh, as a partner as a friend mm -hmm. as a trusted advisor and be a valuable person to the organization which you will get 
never go for a fame initially first start work by uh, show the work automatically you will get the other things which i see perfect this has been a pleasure chatting with you thank you so much for taking out the time thank and you. joining us thank you thank you so thank much you.